finding out that I'm autistic has changed my life and the APS has played such a huge part in that. Hi everyone, my name is Robin Edmonds. I am co-chair of PMNC's Ability Network, where we support our disability, neurodiversity, carers, allies, and, and anybody who wants to learn more about you know, accessibility and inclusion. My name's Andrew Pfeiffer, and I am also a member of the Ability Network Executive Committee. Prior to joining PMNC, I worked at the Australian Taxation Office. In late 2019, while taking a year of unpaid leave, I found out that I'm autistic, and since returning to the ATO, I started up their neurodiversity network, which grew to 400 members in one year. I also had a couple of very late diagnoses for my physical disability and also being diagnosed with ADHD and autism. I think that led to some really interesting questions for me about how I could support others. Because there is just you know a huge percentage of people within you know, the disabled population who are seemingly invisible. 45% of Australians are likely to have a mental health condition at some point in their life. There's not necessarily a neon sign above people's heads saying, you know, help me, right? You know. I actually had a meeting where I was sharing about my neurodiversity advocacy work. I was chatting to um, my FAS at PMNC about it and she's like, oh, I'll introduce you to a bunch of other people that would love to hear about what you're doing. And so I ended up presenting to the inclusion group at the APSC. They invited me to write an article that they then published on their website and people just started bombarding me with requests for how can I be involved in cross-agency neurodiversity inclusion. The network of people that really wanted to be involved in neurodiversity inclusion in the APS just exploded. So I joined the APS reform office one day a week, September last year, and then me a full-time transfer. So I moved from Adelaide to Canberra as a result of that. and. Even while on secondment, I started joining um, Ability Network meetings. Robin invited me to join the executive team, which I did instantly. I didn't even need to think about that decision. Um, and then we started planning for World Autism Awareness Day. Yeah, World Autism Awareness Day was a great success. And it was sort of around this time we thought, oh, hey, there are so many agencies that want to learn more about neurodiversity and how to support their staff. It's an opportunity to bring more of these agencies together. And so we kind of wanted to have this exploratory meeting just to, I guess, gauge the level of interest across the APS. The logistics for this changed a few times. Um, what well, kind of went from being an informal discussion uh, ended up being a slightly more formal meeting when we had a waiting list of SES who wanted to be keynote speakers. We had over 36 agencies in attendance with over 165 staff. And what was interesting was it wasn't just people with lived experience of you know, neurodiversity and neurodivergence that were there. It wasn't just managers of those people. It was a mix of all of these people within the organization that wanted to see what they could do to support neurodiversity inclusion. We're really excited that we've got a number of people that are keen to be involved in a steering committee for a cross-agency neurodiversity collective. There's a variety of people in the public sector that are neurodivergent each of them with a very different lived experience. There's a saying that if you've met one neurodivergent person, then you've met one neurodivergent person. One of the analogies that I love using um, when I talk about my own journey with autism is that it doesn't change the data about me, but it's a trend line that explains the data about me in such a powerful way. And truth be told, finding out that I'm autistic has been like absolutely life-changing not only being able to share my own story, but also advocating for other people um, that are neurodivergent as well. And just some of the wonderful people that I've had the opportunity of meeting um, across the public sector that are also really, really keen for neurodiversity inclusion has just been so wonderful. If you'd like to be involved in the cross-agency neurodiversity inclusion work that we've been speaking about, you can contact Ability Employee Network at pmnc.gov.au. Oh, we'd love to hear from you and um, we'd happily add you to our mailing list for some of the work and maybe meetings that we have coming up. But also if you have things that you're doing within your agency, resources you'd like to share or opportunities to collaborate, we would love to hear about them.